can learn how to do handrail, you can hold on to a job for a long time. Now, before we get started, I want to make sure that we have everything. We've got our drawing right here. We've got a bunch of stops. We've got a square. We've got my bucket of goodies that includes a chalk line. Uh, includes you actually, you actually want to have a whole lot of these if you're doing a lot of handrail work. Uh, I only have one of these with me today. I've got a bunch at home, but uh, I want I want to keep them so they stay at home. I want to borrow mine. I've got two more. Uh, maybe, maybe. Um, also want to have one of these. Uh, do not trust the markings on here. And of course, I've got some stuff. Now, what we want to do with handrail before we cut any pipe for the handrail is we want to draw a scale copy of this on our work surface. Now, the whole thing. Full size. 
Now, outside diameter of the pipe is one inch. So I'm going to mark a half inch on either side of the center line to get the outline of my pipe. I'm going to go from one end of the rail to the other to ensure greatest accuracy. If I put my marks here and here, I could be just a little off, and that's going to be a lot further off on the ends. So I go to the outside, and that's where I put my, my, uh, my layout marks. Half inch, half inch, and again, half inch on either side, half inch, half inch. And since I'm going to draw a line from here to here, I don't need to mark the center. them on two sides only. That will allow us to hit it with a hammer and break it off easily when we're done with the handrail. They just need to be tacked big enough to hold it in place. Once we get our parts cut, 
we're going to take and clamp them, clamp the parts, the, the pipe, to the, uh, to the stocks. And then we'll tack everything and weld everything up. Our cut, we're going to cut our parts, not from the drawing, but from the actual measurements of what's on the table. So we're going to measure outside to outside because this top pipe is going to have a 45 degree cut here and here. So we're going to add half the diameter of the pipe here on this 45, half the diameter of the pipe here on this 45. So if the drawing will say one foot two, I'm sorry, if the drawing's going to say two foot five inches, I'm sorry, the drawing says two foot four inches center to center here, but our top pipe is actually going to be two foot five inches to allow for that 45 degree cut. Same thing with our post. Our post is going to go a half inch further than what the drawing says because we have this 45 we're adding right here. So while the drawing shows one foot two for the post, we're going to make it one foot two and a half. Same thing with this post with the 45 on the top. This is one foot two but this pipe is not going to come to the center. This pipe is going to stop here where it meets the top rail. But we're going to add a third of the diameter to it to uh, allow us to put a fish mouth on there so that it wraps around the pipe like so. So we're going to add a third of the diameter of the pipe here. Same thing here, we'll add a third of the diameter of the pipe on this end of this bottom rail and a third of the diameter of the pipe to this end of the bottom rail. Same thing on this bottom rail. This dimension is uh, oh, it's right around one. It's one foot one. We're going to add two thirds of the diameter. So we'll say it's uh, we'll just call it one foot one and three eighths, roughly. And we will take a grinder and fit it in there because we do not have a bulky. And now it's time to cut parts. Cuts are parallel, and we want our cuts to do this. I'm going to rotate the pipe so that I have this perfectly straight up and down this way. I'm going to clamp this a little bit. Loosen it just coming up to the back. Now, I want to take my tape measure and put it up where it's going to cut the pipe. Right there. And we want two foot five. Make sure it hasn't moved. We are two foot five on the money from the high point where the saw blade is going to intersect the pipe there to the end of the pipe there. We're at a 45 here, we're at a 45 there. Very nice. Cut, cut, cut. Fingers, watch fingers. And what's the post? Uh, one foot, two and a half. All right, go ahead and... Uh... And again, double check since I've got it clamped. One foot, two and a half on the nose. So this is our post right here. Now, on the handrail, we've got these mid-rails that need to attach here. So in order to get a good joint, we're going to do what's called a fish mount here. Now normally, in, in a shop that's well equipped, you'll have a notching machine that will take the notches out just by shearing. But we don't have that luxury here. And if you're doing this in your garage, you're probably not going to have a notch. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a 45 degree cut here and a 45 degree cut here, but we're only going to come down one third of the diameter of the pipe, the outside diameter of the pipe. So we should have of the pipe still at the 90, 
one third of it cut at a 45, one third of it cut at a 45. So that'll give us a nice little radius in there. We'll touch it up on the inside with a grinder and it should have a nice fit on our post. So, I'm set the saw to 45. Now this right here should catch just this corner, about one third of the diameter of the pipe. Since I'm working really close to the blade, notice I took my glove off. Um, I'm not going to touch the on button, but if it accidentally comes on, I don't want my glove to get caught in the blade and rip my hand off. So I'm kind of attached to my hand at this point in my life. So again, I want to cut about a third of the diameter off. And I want to keep it straight up and down in relationship to the other side. Double check. Yeah, it's close. We've cut a 45 on each side of this pipe. It probably could have been cut a little bit deeper, but again, this is a small diameter pipe. I'm eyeballing it, so I'm, I'm close. What this allows us to do is to get us a tight fit there. Now, if I take a grinder and clean up this inside edge a little bit, I can get an even tighter fit than this. But this is what we're going for right here. 